Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animwash and I'm back with an uh, with a double unboxing but <laughs> it is in one single box, right? So basically I didn't have just bought myself a new watch but uh, I've went uh, and see a new friend or new watch fam or new watch buddies, Mr. Juan Layton at, at somewhere around KL or Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur here in Malaysia. So Mr. Juan has kindly uh, lent me two watch that is available in his collection and thank you very much Mr. Juan and he is basically a Colombian working in Malaysia so for the past two years and yeah thank you very much for trusting me with your uh, valuable possession right so let's uh, cue the intro and check out what is inside the box all right guys so let's crack on and take <laughs> just oh my god take this thing this is a steel dive box what but what is inside it and yeah that here we are, we've got two watches inside. Oh, oh, before we do that, let's do a quick wristwatch chat. I, today I am wearing my Seiko SRPA Paddy, sorry, SRPA 21D Paddy version. So this is the first ever Paddy uh, collaboration between Seiko and PADI Professional Asso Association of Divers Instructor. Yeah, and I, I absolutely love this, this watch, right? So this is... Um, and Oris, right? So I have at the point of recording, I have no idea what this Oris is about. So, but of course, it looks like this might be a father or a even a grandfather to the Oris Aquis because it has that um, integrated style design lux here with that kettle shaped case, right? So I will, of course, check what actually this model is. And I didn't even really, really ask Mr. Juan what <laughs> is what was this, right? So they don't really tell you um what this is in the case bag yeah but i will of course uh, do my research during the full review right so what do we have here is basically let's just you know what just quickly do a dimension check i think the case size is 43 millimeters yep 43.5 millimeters but because this case shape is like i said just now oh you know what maybe it's 44 right yeah 44 millimeters in diameter but because the kettle shape uh, look to the case the when you when you I see it you don't really see that big of a wash right so 44 44 let's just call it 44.5 or 44 millimeters case millimeters case and a thickness I think the thickness is about 15 yep 15 bang on 15 millimeters and a luck to luck of a boat a boat a boat that will be somewhere around 52.5 oh very very long but of course, this one is a integrated bracelet, so you can't really take it off and put it on, on another strap. But you could because yeah, they, they have some screw system here. You could, but you are limited to the options that is available from Oris, right? So I don't, I won't really bother to <laughs> check out the luck with because yeah, you can't really do anything about it, right? So what do we have here? We have a um, not ceramic. Um, aluminum bezel insert so you can see that there are tons of battle scratches here i think mr juan has definitely used this watch and in his days so quite a lot of scratches around the bezel and still i think that loom pip still works and we have that beautiful um wave dial there right so on the on the dial and we have that unique um indices shape that looks like a uh, I don't know what to call that. Um, maybe a knife, <laughs> a sharp or a teeth or teeth looking style. So similar to maybe my um, almost similar to my um, Seiko Monster, but yeah, of course the Seiko Monster is much more broader. And yeah, we have that beautifully. Um, I don't know. It's that texture. I yeah, I think it was printed right. So beautiful um, silver colored printed dial with that wave pattern and with this with that um, 0 5 10 15 minute tracks on the outside and we have an oris uh, printing in white and we have the date wheel in on at the six o'clock right so very very nicely done there oris right so um, we have this unique shape a leaf uh, pattern leaf shaped um, minute hands here with that minute 
leaf shape uh, our hands which is quite unique i've never seen this one before from uh, oris and we have that lollipop second hands right so um yeah quite a unique design so guys if you guys know what this is so please do let me know in the comment section below right so the yeah we talked about the bezel insert just now and with let's just try out the bezel action right mm -hmm. Yep, definitely that is a 120 clicks bezel insert. So you can see that virtually there's no back play there. So good job, Oris. Right, so let's check out the case. So the case is finished um, with the uh, brush finishing. Oh, I forgot to mention that the whole case and best bracelet is made from titanium. Um, that is why it is quite light for a big wash, right? So you can see that the, I think the finishes are all brushed and there's no <coughs> polished surface surface whatsoever on this particular watch so you can see that there are tons of <coughs> dings and scratches all around the watch and yeah i believe that this that this is a manual release helium uh, helium helium escape valve and this is the uh already signed uh, crown so you can just uh, unscrew it and uh, hack it and Right, yep. So I think this one is using maybe they are using, uh, they managed to get still use a t uh, ETA, so maybe not, but I'm not really sure. Of course, we will check that out during the full review, right? So you can see that the um, titanium bracelet is well used here, and we have this uh, simple stamp or is buckle, and we have that or is maybe this is a part number for this particular class. So a simple um, three micro adjust here with a diverse extension right so maybe i can try to pull this off yep yep we've got it uh, this is a diverse extension so you have to take it off if you want to resize it right so let's put it back there and yeah it's simple there's no dual push button here just a flip lock and yeah this is a friction style right so um you can see that this is featuring a screwed link so i yeah you know what let's just put it on the wrist and oh sorry before we do this let's just check out again the case back so we have an oris logo there 100 meters oh 100 meters oh sorry 100 bar a thousand meters right oh not, no wonder this thing is so damn thick right so scratch proof shock resistance scratch proof really i don't know man yeah maybe for something that looks that is this old it, it 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 yeah it somehow managed to minimize the scratch maybe they have some special coating on it sapphire crystal titanium case 733 i have no idea what that is so yeah so anyway we will check that out during the full review right so you know what this watch is sized for my buddy mr um ones which is a lot bigger guy than me so let's see how much it weighs even though it is a titanium watch and that is about 138 grams so yeah that's quite nice wow this 1000 meters of water resistant in 840 grams watch right so let's check out if it has have a sulfur crystal definitely have it so yeah who are we joking here so let's just take it take the um seiko turtle from my wrist and let's put it on my let's put this oris on the wrist and let's see how it goes so yep i think i have to take out another link if i could yep that's definitely i need to take out just one link and yeah although this is a huge watch it doesn't really feel that big that that heavy because of that quite a um lightweight uh lightweight situation here right so let's just Put it over there before we do that obligatory loom check right so let's check out the second watch that has been kindly loaned into me by mr Juan, which is this seiko uh samurai party right so i have no idea what is the reference number for this particular piece <laughs> i will of course do confirm that during the full review and yeah i have one been not been wanting to check out this um samurai watches for quite some time now right so let's do a quick dimension check so let's just go for the bezel that is about 44 millimeters in diameter so let's just call it a 44 
T monster, so the turtle is 45, right? So I give you know, maybe, yeah, maybe that's the case. So a thickness of just 13 millimeters, so very, very nice. And a luck to luck of supposed to be 48, nope, yep, 48.6. You know what? Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, 48.5, right? So, but because this thing has a protruding uh, male and leg, so the effective luck to luck would be a lot bigger. That is going to be about, um, Yep, 53, let's call it 54. Yeah, quite, of course, it has that 22 millimeters slug width, right? So, yeah, that is a big watch, right? So, for, uh, let's do a weight check. So, on the set, this setup is for my buddy, Mr. Juan, that is going to weigh at about, wow, 190 grams. So, that is huge, guys. No way I can manage to wear this <laughs> on bracelet. So, even if I am going to buy a Seiko Samurai, I would definitely get it on... Uh, silicone strap because I would never I can never ever use a 190 grams uh, watch right so the case the case featuring featuring this um, mixture mix between uh, this polish surface here with this brush surface here you can see that we have three lugs here and uh, yeah quite a lot of angles here guys so yeah this is your typical Seiko Samurai case style right so we have this very very heavily null uh, crown here without any sign logo and of course it features that 4 r 35 movement with hacking and hand winding so unfortunately you can't really get your fingernails through this so you have to yep yank it from the back right so you can see that i've managed to um stop the movement yep that is it because this is pm so i'm not going to be adjusting the date because somebody will be getting mad at me because changing the date after the you know what after the the, the hour all right the, the after what 8 pm yeah all right so the oh man the dial right so again featuring that um wave pattern dial on here so normally the seiko samurai featuring that um how to say checkered style so this one features the uh wave pattern which is a uh, maybe unique to the party limited edition oh you know what yeah okay so for the party limited edition all the prospect logo is under at the 12 o'clock right so i've just recently noticed that all right so yeah that huge uh indices applied indices on the seiko samurai and that beautifully done chapter in which surprisingly is aligned to the dial yay finally seiko got it right on this particular version and of course we have that big huge our hands here and a red uh, minute hands and with that beautiful um, what is called what do you call it rectangle no um, <laughs> triangle uh, second hands there with that uh, date window on the three o'clock and this um, mixed colorway bright uh, sorry red and blue with on and on an aluminum bezel insert right so this is the bezel which is quite difficult to grip I must say so yeah. Okay, you hear that? Okay, yep, <laughs> it aligns. So yeah, that is <laughs> a good thing to have, right? So okay, so let's talk about the bracelet. Of course, like I mentioned just now, we have this uh, mesh, uh, male end links here, which protrudes out quite a lot, making it quite difficult for people, smaller wrist guy like me to wear this thing. And we have your, your your usual flip stop flip flip stop flip lock style with dual push button here with this stamp class so nothing new there. Uh, oh okay also oh, they they still have that um, hideously ah actually very very difficult to use um what do you call this extension ex diverse extension here and we have of course we have a quick no um what do you call it colors pin and color system which is very very annoying. Seiko, right so anyway so let's put it on the wrist and see how it looks like i definitely cannot wear this because like oh my god 190 grams man oh my mm -hmm. yeah yeah i i'm if i ever wanted to use it i, I have to take out at least one nick but i'm not going to be doing that because this is another people's watch and i don't really want to mess out mess about right so of course uh during the full review we will go through quite a lot more uh, especially the um the model number, right? So I have no idea what the model number right now. So you know what? Let's just check out the loom and see how they perform compared to each other. So we have three watches here. Let's just bring that out from the frame, right? So uh, we have 
Seiko uh, Samurai Seiko Turtle and Oris Watch Company. So, and which I have no idea what the model number is at the mom at the moment. So, of course, we will do. I will do my research and we will get to that real soon. Maybe in one or two weeks time, guys. So let's just find the lamp, the switches, and boom! Hey, hey, hey yeah! Oh my God! Take out that samurai loom. Oh wow! This one has a blue loom on the indices and the hands and the and minutes hand, but the on on sorry on the hour hands, but on the minute hand, there's this um green. Uh, Lumi Bright with, with which is similar to the ones the one on the Loom Peep, right? So that's nice. And on the SRPA Turtle Party, it is all in all green. Yeah, that's cool. And on the Oris, although it is quite thin, that is I think C3 Super Lumi. But wow, you know what? Check out that that reflection on my finger. So <laughs> you can see you can see that the the on on the um the Seiko. Uh, Samurai is a, a whole lot brighter than the ones on the uh, on the Oris, right? So that is the power of Seiko, guys. Seiko make makes the greatest loom ever on the planet, right? So if you guys have any questions whatsoever regarding these two particular pieces, so please do let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see, uh, if you guys like this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you guys think that this video adds value to you, please do subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Stay safe and bye-bye.